Hello, everyone. Uh, we would like to welcome you to this uh, session that we are going to uh, have as a recorded video uh, for the Arctic Knot. Uh, I am Anas, and uh, I'm together with Reda. Uh, we are both from Wikimedia Morocco User Group. Uh, we are going to present uh, about how we can use editing contests as uh, an empowerment tool for uh, the improvement of the smaller wikis. So we are going to talk specifically about an experiment that we did in Morocco so that uh, we could grow our community and our smaller wikis and smaller languages through uh, an editing contest. So the uh, agenda of today is going to be the following. First of all, we are going to have a general overview about what is a smaller Wikipedia, since uh, our thesis in this presentation is that we want to improve smaller Wikipedias, we need to first define them and understand them. Then we are going to move on to our specific uh, context, which is Morocco, and talk about the Wikipedias that we have in Morocco, in Moroccan languages, and in languages spoken in Morocco, and their current status. Uh, then we will uh, move on to the challenges that are uh, in our context uh, for these different uh, Wikipedias. Uh, once we identify the problems, we are going to try to find solutions. And one of the solutions was then to do this experiment, which is uh, launching an editing contest to support smaller wikis, even those in the incubator, uh, which is the Wiki for Human Rights 2021 that we are going to talk uh, more in detail about very soon. And finally, we will present with you our results and conclusions from this experiment and uh, hopefully next steps that could be implemented uh, for uh, similar projects around the world. So, uh, first of all, what is a small Wikipedia? Uh, if we take the definition that uh, we uh, made ourselves, that a small Wikipedia is a Wikipedia having less than 10,000 articles, then we have to say that most of the Wikipedias that are created per language are small. In fact, out of the currently existing 1,010 Wikipedias, only 153, uh, which is roughly the half, a little bit less than the half, have more than 10,000 articles. And here we are talking about Wikipedias, uh, languages that have their own Wikipedias, which, which are 310. But as you know, there are 7,000 or almost 7,000 languages in the world. So most of the languages in the world are not even present in Wikipedia, which makes them not even having small Wikipedia, but having nothing at all. So the, the situation that is currently in the world, is a few number of big and dominant languages take the full scene, while small languages either have small Wikipedia or do not have a Wikipedia at all. Uh, why, why, why do languages have small Wikipedias? This can have many reasons. When we try to brainstorm a bit and identify, we found that some small languages are limited uh, by their own context, context. So for example, there are official languages in smaller states. If we think, for example, about islands in the Pacific Ocean, uh, it's very small areas where few people speak the language and there are not many sources and resources to grow the Wikipedia. Uh, and also we can think about the case that some languages are minority languages in a more complex environment, maybe in a bigger country where a dominant language uh, is, is coexisting with the small language and it's the dominant language that is used on, on the different uh, environments at work, in school, uh, which makes the uh, minority language not spoken that much and which reflects then on, on the Wikipedia, of course, as it reflects on the full society. So there are different challenges uh, facing the smaller Wikipedias depending on the situation of each language, but there are a lot of challenges uh, with them and most of languages in the world either don't have Wikipedia or have a small Wikipedia. Uh, when we uh, look uh, and zoom in on the list of the small Wikipedias, we see that some of them develop quickly, while others stagnate since years. So here we chose to show in this table the uh, Wikipedias that are the, the, at the bottom of the list, like the 10 last Wikipedias. And you see that they uh, like have all almost all less than 500 articles and they have been existing for quite a long time now. So we can safely say that these uh, small Wikipedias are really stagnating and probably struggling. Uh, so yes, unfortunately, some small Wikipedias have problems. 
Uh, let's now go to our own context, which is Morocco, and uh, take a general overview of our Wikipedias with Reda. Uh, thank you, Anas. And uh, in Morocco, linguistically, is not uh, different from what's going on at the international level, at the global level. Uh, we have the Arabic, French, English, or Spanish are languages that are spoken in uh, at school and also used in the administration. So this is the main uh, languages that are uh, a source of information in Wikipedia prior to the existence of the wikis, which we'll be talking about um, in a few minutes. And uh, also the, the uh, version of Tamazight is also an optional language and also doesn't have a Wikipedia. So uh, in Morocco, we prior to 2019, we looked for information mainly in those languages, those three languages, Arabic, French, and English, and maybe Spanish. So, which left behind many others uh, with a lack of information. Uh, for example, the, the Tamazight language is widely spoken at the national level, and also the Moroccan Arabic and the, the, the Dalija. So, these two uh, languages are widely spoken and widely used, but they, they didn't have their own uh, Wikipedia version. So, so this creates uh, an issue of covering the, the knowledge and covering the information, and uh, makes uh, us reflect how to uh, produce information in those two essential uh, languages and also to provide uh, an added value to the linguistic uh, uh, sector. So, the, as, as I said, uh, these tru uh, three languages, Arabic, French, and English, are the main source for information, and they've been uh, looked at uh, by several uh, viewers in, uh, in, in the country, so, so that uh, the information in the Rija and the Tashil Hate or or the uh, Tamazir are not are not covered. So this was a challenge for us to produce uh, a new linguistic version of Wikipedia in a language that is widely spoken in Morocco and a language for uh, the, the Moroccans. So uh, as you know, the Arabic and French and English are edited by uh, contributors around the world and the effort and the amount of work is is big uh, on those versions so we need to also emphasize on what's what make us uh, reflect on uh, producing a fully Moroccan version so this uh, makes us uh, put the first step on producing uh, Wikipedia in Moroccan Darija and despite the, the challenges and also the, the gap that may have, uh, uh, mainly the, 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 the Asia doesn't have a clear official status, uh, the, uh, recognize only Arabic, uh, standardized Arabic as, as, as a language, uh, along with the, the, the Tushan H and the So, but at the same time, it is widely spoken uh, in the daily life, and also it has a strong presence in the media. And uh, these are two major assets we need to focus on, and also makes us to put uh, the, 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 the effort and work on producing this version. And uh, one of the challenges was also the, the inexistent uh, tradition, written tradition of the, the Darija. Darija is mainly spoken, and, and has an oral tradition, and uh, it makes us reflect on how to write it after the, uh, consultation and uh, discussion with the community. We have decided to write it with Arabic script, and since uh, July uh, 2020, uh, the Moroccan Darija has its own Wikipedia, which is online. So it's take, uh, it took us uh, years to reflect and also to consult the community and also to produce uh, a fully published version. Uh, this is the, the platform for the, the Moroccan uh, uh, Wikipedia, and uh, now it has around 4,000 articles, uh, organized in the same way as other versions, so with a, a clear categorization and also uh, 
uh, first page that is accessible for all and everyone can look for the information and also access to uh, different areas and topics. Next. And uh, as of the statistic, uh, the, the, the Wikipedia is consulted daily by around uh, 5,000 uh, viewers with some up and downs uh, depending on the coverage. For example, it may, it may raise to 25,000 uh, viewers because of uh, some media coverage or uh, consul uh, consulting a, a specific article depending on, on the news that is going on. So this, it has a, st a still growing uh, up uh, uh, audience and we need also to work on how to uh, attract more users and attract more uh, audience so that we can also uh, enlarge our community. Uh, for the the, the the monthly statistics, it, uh, it may also, as you can see, differ from from uh, from month to month. But overall, we've had uh, around two million viewers uh, from the beginning of the uh, project in July 2020 until uh, a few days ago. So the the areas uh, we can still work on uh, producing more uh, articles so that it can be visible for others. Uh, as of the editors, uh, the Moroccan Darija Wikipedia is a small wiki, and by definition, it is, it's a small uh, community. So uh, we have, on average, eight active editors who make uh, at least five edits per month, and it may also go up uh, and down depending on the situation. So it doesn't have a constant uh, editor's base, but this uh, contests are a way to uh, make uh, editors attractive to the project and also, so, and also sustainable uh, in the future. Uh, this uh, the Tashl Hate is is one of the variants of the Tamazight language, and also it's widely spoken uh, southern Morocco in the Sousa region, with uh, around six to seven million speakers. And also, it has a, has a non-written uh, tradition, and it, it's, it is mainly oral. And uh, with the effort of the, the, the speakers of that language and the contributors of our community, there was an effort to produce it on the incubator and to have a fully published uh, version in Tashil Hate. And but uh, for time, for, uh, it doesn't. It, it didn't took time to be uh, produced. Uh, online and we now have received a few days ago a notification from the language committee saying that it will be approved very soon and it will be published uh, as a fully uh, uh, version of Wikipedia in just hidden that language. Uh, this is the, the, also the, the platform and uh, for the information uh, it is the one of the few versions that, that has two uh, scripts and there is a script in, in Latin script and also a script in uh, TV now. So uh, a version that, that uh, have two uh, scripts and that are coexisting and uh, living uh, together. So this is a huge technical uh, achievement we have been able to uh, succeed on, on it. Thank you very much, Reda, for uh, presenting the context of uh, the Moroccan Wikipedias. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to mention before we go on to the challenges that there are other versions of uh, uh, different Wikipedias or Moroccan Wikipedias in the incubator, especially for the Berber languages. Uh, but we decided to present uh, just these two, the Moroccan Arabic and Tashl Hit, as they are representative of the, the status and also as they are the ones that uh, grew up most lately. But we hope to support also in our user group also the other versions. Uh, we are currently trying to uh, identify and find people who would like to write in the other languages so that they can also join and help grow their own languages and own dialects uh, to the same extent as the, the two that we talked about earlier. However, all the languages in Morocco, uh, the local languages in Morocco have the same challenges. And these are the following. First of all, we have social challenges, and this is related not only to Wikipedia, but to the society in general. Uh, 
uh, people usually have a pejorative view towards their local languages. So uh, it's seen a bit negatively if you would uh, engage uh, something serious in your local language. I mean, uh, besides uh, discussion, discussing in a market or beside having a daily discussion, it would be preferred to use a formal international recognized language when uh, being at work, for example, or in a serious situation than engaging in the local language. And this is a social problem, as mentioned, uh, which is how people view their own language in a negative way. Uh, there is also the lack of standardization in, in different extents. First of all, uh, there is a, a lack of grammatical rules. Of course, these are languages, so they have grammatical rules and you cannot say whatever you want because people will notice that you made a mistake in, in, in how to say it. But you can say many things in many different ways and there is no official organism or official organization that would just uh, standardize this and uh, decide if this is on this way or that way that things should be said or written. So in the case of the Wikipedias, it's mostly uh, the volunteers that come and try to find a consensus on how to write, uh, which is complicated and difficult because you don't have that legitimacy and who are you to choose how this would be written and why. But we have decided together that we have the legitimacy of those who came and tried to do something. And of course, if there are many people coming in the future and uh, trying to help, then of course they can come with their own opinions and hopefully uh, discuss and come to a new consensus. So, so this is something that, that is still a complex because it's very easy to criticize and to uh, say that this should not be that way, but it's important for us to have more contributors so that we can have even a better standardization in terms of, of grammar. So it's not only a problem of grammar because it's, uh, as Reda mentioned, for Tesh but also for, for Derija and for other languages, uh, there are problems with the script and with the alphabet and chosen letters uh, because, again, there is no official organism working on the level of these specific dialects so that there is an organism working on the Moroccan Arab or on the Arabic standard Arabic, Arabic or in, on the standard Temazir, but there is nothing working on a more local level or on a more on a deeper level, if you can call it so. Uh, so that people, for example, who write Teshlhit, some of them would write it in the Latin alphabet, some others would do it in the Tifinar alphabet and even in the Arabic alphabet, and there is no consensus. So here again, it was just legitimacy for those who came first, but we still. Uh, recommended to have different alphabets and that you could switch between them. So if you go to the incubator in, in Tesla Hit, you will be able to switch between Latin and Tifinag alphabet. But it's still a challenge because for the other coming languages and also for those that are established, there can always be someone coming and complaining about how this was written like this or like that. But we are actually happy to, to receive such a feedback because we want more people to contribute and hopefully to become active editors. Uh, there is also a problem uh, regarding the lack of hardware. We don't have physical keyboards with our specific letters for these languages. This is, of course, uh, an industrial problem, if we can call it so. And it's difficult to, to solve because usually it's big international companies that produce these hard the hardwares. And uh, since there will be no official use of these uh, as there is no standardization and there is no use of these languages on official contexts. It's very difficult for these companies to produce a, a keyboard just for eight active editors that are writing in a specific language, but, but it's a problem. And this can be annoying to use virtual keyboards all the time, especially if you are an active editor editing many times during a day because it's, it's complicated and it makes your life very difficult. Uh, there is also a problem with sustainability in terms of community. It's very fragile. Uh, the projects that we presented rely on very few people. And if these people leave for some legitimate reason uh, related to their life conditions, maybe they have uh, a work that requires them to work for many hours, maybe they have exams, maybe they have uh, familial or personal reasons. Uh, and if these few people leave, then everything might collapse or everything might stagnate like we showed for the uh, cases of the, these Wikipedias that were at the bottom of the list. 
And I guess I guess that this is not specific to us in Morocco. I guess that this is specific to many, many other contexts and specifically to smaller Wikipedias that have only few volunteers. Uh, it's very difficult to find a solution, but it's a very big and serious problem that needs to be looked into. And finally, a challenge that we have in our local context is uh, criticism based on ideology. So there is an ideological hostility towards local languages. Uh, of course, everybody speaks these languages, so nobody is against speaking them, but many people are against uh, giving them more visibility and making them written, for example, or making them appear on, on platforms such as Wikipedia. Uh, and this criticism is not only on the local level, but it's also on the regional level. So, for example, you would find people speaking Arabic in other countries, complaining that there is a Moroccan Arabic version of Wikipedia, and the reason is that Moroccan Arabic is a dialect of Arabic and therefore does not deserve to have a full Wikipedia, which of course can be argued because each of the languages that are in Wikipedia have an ISO code, and it's of course legitimate to give uh, space for all forms of expression to be, to be there. So uh, even though there is criticism, we still think that all forms of expression should be given the opportunity to be on Wikipedia, which is, as you know, the platform where, where the sum of human knowledge in all languages should be present. Uh, and this does not mean that anyone is against uh, having Wikipedia in classical or modern standard Arabic. On the contrary, we support having Wikipedia on Arabic and we support having Wikipedia in all 7,000 languages of the world. So after that, we talked about the challenges. Uh, let us try to talk about the solutions that we envisioned in our group to support these smaller wikis to overcome at least a number of these challenges. So, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, there was a campaign called Wiki for Human Rights 2021, uh, organized by Wikimedia Foundation and the Office for Human Rights of the United Nations to raise awareness about the importance of documenting and advocating human rights. And once this campaign, campaign was launched and communicated to us uh, in the 2021 edition about the right to a healthy environment, we thought in our user group that this is a very good opportunity uh, to produce content, not only in the regular languages that we all know about, but also in the smaller Wikipedias and try to support them. Uh, you know, these languages are only spoken in our country. And if we don't support them, nobody will support them. And uh, it was for us very important to support our local context at, as, as well as to remain connected to our regional context. So what we did in our user group was an experiment, which was, which was to organize an editing contest in four languages. These four languages were uh, classical Arabic and French, uh, which is something that I would say was uh, traditional and normal. But we added also Derija, Moroccan Arabic, and Tashlihit. And it's even more exciting given that Tesla Heat is in the incubator. And we think that this is the first editing contest ever in the Wikimedia movement that was done in the incubator. Of course, if anyone is watching the video and uh, thinks that uh, there was something done before in the incubator as in form of an editing contest, we will be very interested to know and to correct, of course, this information. Uh, because the challenges that are in the incubator when you organize an edition contest are completely different and we would like to uh, explore that path together with other communities that also made this experiment or that, or that would like to make it in order to support their local smaller wikis. So this is the homepage for Wiki for Human Rights 2021. Uh, it's a regular uh, editing contest page that talks about um, suggested articles, participants, and prizes. It was between the 18th March and the 31st of May, 2021. Uh, a normal contest, as mentioned. The only the difference would be that we are a small user group with only volunteers. That did something a bit challenging because it was an editing contest in four languages, and it was a bit big but we really wanted to experiment this and to see what would the results be. So the results are the following. Uh, in the four languages that uh, we had in the contest, people participated in different numbers, of course, uh, six participants in Arabic, three in French, seven in Darija, and four in Teshlihit, and uh, created a considerable number of articles. Uh, our target was to have 100 articles towards all languages. We extended it by far more than the double, especially in Arabic where we had 145. 
In French, we had 49. In Darija, we had 18. And in Tashil we had 35. But even the most important for us was the impact of this contest for the two smaller uh, Wikipedias that are Moroccan Darija and Tashil uh, And this is why we introduced this percentage that you see uh, in each of the languages, where we wanted to see how much is the number of articles created specifically in this contest related to the whole or the full Wikipedia. So if you look at into Arabic and French, you will see that it's a very, very small number, even though 150, almost 150 or 50 articles are a, are a big number, they're still very small compared to 1 million or 2 million articles. But in Darija, for example, even though it was only 18 articles, it's still 0.5% of total articles. And in Tashil Hit, it's even bigger. Even though it was only 35 articles, it was 3% of the encyclopedia in the, in the incubator. Uh, so we believe that even though you think it's small numbers, when you take it into percentages and when you see it in relative matters, it becomes really huge. And this is why our first conclusion, even before looking at other conclusions, our first conclusion is that editing contests in small languages, and especially if they are in the incubator, are very impactful. Uh, after seeing the, the challenges we've faced and also the, the, the way we try to solve it, we've managed to have a number of learning lessons we've, we're trying to share with you uh, so that we can reflect on it on, and um, on several of them and also to maybe help uh, other versions uh, to proceed in the same way. So our first conclusion was that the contests uh, help retain the editors. Uh, the first issue is that uh, people are aware of uh, the existence of Wikipedia in their languages and also uh, the way to contribute on it. So, and by offering them a platform which are which is uh, a contest, uh, it, it's make them uh, knowledgeable about the version and also about the way to contribute. And from our side, it is a good way to make the project more sustainable and to uh, encourage uh, more uh, users to, to, to contribute. And also there is the incentive of prices. And by having such, uh, such possibility, uh, users are uh, more and more participating and it, it's, it is only creating a content and a good material for, uh, for other people and uh, for uh, better coverage of knowledge and uh, also we believe that contests are uh, have a bigger impact comparing to the, the bigger wikis and the established ones because uh, as we've noticed in the the, uh, the stats and the, the figures uh, earlier the creation of article are uh, have an impact on the the total amount and the total number of articles uh, article on a bigger wiki is is, uh, is, uh, um, is is a very small comparing to how we can contribute to the small uh, wikis because the percentage is uh, is very uh, noticeable and through this way we can also empower the smaller wikis and also we can think of uh, important articles that must be suggested and especially for the, the newcomers who are new to our movement and to uh, uh, create and also to uh, work on articles that are non-existent and that are also uh, highly needed. And uh, uh, while working on the contest in uh, in the incubator, we've uh, had uh, many reflections to uh, improve uh, its working. So in theory, the incubator uh, should be hosting more users and especially the newer ones uh, in creating uh, a new version of uh, Wikipedia and many many other projects, and uh, very soon they, they, f they find themselves uh, lacking resources and the uh, tools to uh, to contribute in the incubator. So, uh, in practice, the incubator is a place where an experienced user work on a, on a, on a new version but with, with his skills that. Uh, managed from uh, from years of contribution. So, uh, in fact, one uh, should have 
uh, strong technical skills, advanced experience in dealing with the, the way it, it is working, and also uh, how to deal with uh, the project uh, as a, 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 in a whole. And also, the information and guidance is very is lacking in the in the incubator because of the platform is very centralized and offering information in English. So, uh, such uh, such essential information is lacking to many other people who are speaking uh, with other languages. So, in fact, we've confronted this issue with uh, from our own experience with working on uh, the region. And with this experience, we help our colleagues from to 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 proceed and also to assist them uh, on how to contribute and also to mentor them on uh, uh, the way they should uh, uh, work and, and they can achieve their goal, which is uh, having an own uh, Wikipedia in Tashlhid. So this issue must be. Uh, uh, thought of and also uh, be because of this issue many people uh, find themselves out of the incubator and out of the uh, wikimedia sphere because they are not represented in their own language and we have to think uh, of them so that if our objective to have the sum of knowledge offered in our platform and uh, overall we think that contests are a good way uh, to uh, promote uh, new linguistic versions and also uh, try to include them at the level of the incubator, which is uh, the first time I believe that that was done in our case. And we have we can try to uh, use it with other with us around the world and also to uh, share the same experience with other people so that they can also follow the same path, the same path. Uh, while uh, uh, working on their own version. So uh, this is the sum of our uh, conclusion and learnings and uh, we were happy to share it with you. And thank you all. And uh, if you have any question, hesitate to reach out to us. And uh, if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, answer them. Thank you all and uh, uh, shukran.